basically ashokanan stitch is for preventing or minimizing the blood supply from lower segment bleeding remember ashokanan stitch is not for atonic pph but it is mainly meant for either an anterior placenta previa or a posterior placenta previa where the lower segment is extremely vascular and it is very difficult to stop the bleeding from lower segment in an upper segment bleeding you can always take some constriction suture like you are billing stitch but for lower segment it becomes difficult to take a stitch so the first step would be to dissect the bladder sufficiently down so here we have dissected the bladder down and now we can see the uterine artery will be coming from this point so what we are trying to take or what is an ashokanan stitch basically is a n block is an n block closure of the entire blood supply that is coming to the lower segment effectively it will stop the blood that is coming into the lower segment now we'll just see how this is to be taken this is not a case of placenta previa but we are doing it as a demonstration stitch ideally you should practice all these hours where they are not indicated so that you are ready when there is an emergency in in case of emergency you should not keep on fumbling as to how to do this stitch so the first step is to dissect the bladder it is preferable to use a longer needle however i am still using here our conventional 40 mm needle but you can take a 50 mm needle 50 mm half circle needle so the first point will go 2 cm below so i am going in you can see i am going in and now i have to come be posteriorly so i have come out posteriorly so this is how i have come out assistant will stretch the uterus so this is your first bite the second bite will again come from posteriorly itself and it will come anterior so i am changing the needle now and now this suture has to come this suture has to come 2 cm above at this point so how we are going to enter again we are entering from the same about 2 cm above your first entry point it is always better to use a straight needle here and that's what has been recommended by dr ashokanan however uh, because i don't have an straight needle i am still using a conventional suture so i am again entering posteriorly the suture has come no. i am already there actually and now you can see my both sutures which have which have included now you can see both the threads there is almost a two finger breadth between the two sutures so this is this suture is almost 2 to 3 cm apart so what we are going to cause a n n n block closure so it is including the entire uterine artery and all its branches the supplying branches so wait for 2 seconds let the vitreal memory be there and now can you see this this is not caused a an n block closure as i'm saying i'm using that word repeatedly n block means a complete block of that blood vessels that are coming from to the lower segment so from again to repeat 2 cm below the cutage laterally first bite come out posteriorly then 2 cm above insert the needle again and come out at the same point and put a stitch tap this is nothing but the ashokanan stitch it's a very good stitch to stop bleeding especially in cases of placenta previa thank you